Matrox works reasonably well because they're just using AMD chips. So. Uh, they're using Intel now. <laughs> oh, it's Intel. Yeah, yeah. get with it, Grandma. <laughs> Welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vince Stone here in beautiful downtown Athens, Georgia, in our little studio, trying to pilot this nightmare train, joined every week by the man of North One, Jordan Swag, and of course, Pedro Mateus, the white Hello. body himself, staying up late past his bedtime on the Isles of Britannia, and together with you, <laughs> Shot Realm Dynamic, watching us live on Twitch, helping us form the robot with two canes, cocaine, Voltron, which is getting a live action adaptation from Amazon. Is, is Michael Bay doing it? No, he's... <laughs> sh- spoilers. We're, we're getting to what l- he's l- going to l- be up listen, to. Listen, I, I do not pretend that the level of effort required to make a Michael Bay movie is such that he could not make two movies at the same time. We cannot, <laughs> we cannot have parallel Bayism. <laughs> <laughs> there, the, the there para- aren't enough explosions. It's, no, no, sorry. It's, it's, it's the Parabay. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it starts like rivaling the, the, the yields of like actual war zones. And they're like, Bay, Bay, you got to calm this down. You're, you're going to violate That's some sort of convention. Quad bay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we do have a show for you this week. Stay tuned. Uh, what's up? What's new? I uh, put out a little thing I've been meaning to do for a while. Uh, we, you know, I'm into the. Uh, Firewire audio interfaces. Why? Because I'm really big into keeping shit out of landfill. And I hate to see perfectly good electronics end up in the dumpster just because some fucking corporation was like, we don't support those anymore. Throw them away, buy our new shit. I'm like, that's not cool. You know what Linux is good at? Keeping shit like that up and running, man, because audio interfaces technology has not changed in the last two decades, man. You pull those specs up left and right, and you're like, shit, that's the same thing. What's different? Connector on the back. Well, you might have heard of this new sound server all the hot kids are using. It's called Pipewire. Pedro's heard about it, right? Pipawire, I believe, is how it's pronounced. It's a thing, man, and <laughs> it's coming with all these fancy uh, <laughs> Linux distributions, and kids are using it. Well, it kind of worked with FireWire audio interfaces, but not very well. So not well enough to where I made a fucking video, and I was like, this shit don't work at all. <laughs> so that was fixed. That got passed around, and the uh, developer of Pipewire got sent a FireWire interface. So for round two, did it get the fader drivers up and running? It worked. That was a good job. All that's over on Interfacing Linux, and uh, of course, if you follow Pipe, the Pipewire project, I got a nice little retweet and retweet. Yeah, I'm like, the Interfacing Linux community. I was like, bitch, community? What? Uh, <laughs> well, it's, that, there's it's, a forum. It's, it's, a very it's, it's, the, it's the royal forum. community. <laughs> no, we had a bunch of people um, jump in, been doing a lot of uh, troll shooting, AB stuff. Uh, we've even uncovered a new bug over on Interfacing Linux if you want to go through the forums and uh, or even to the comments on that thread. Just Helping people get their stuff up and working, keeping it in service and out of the dumpster. It's brilliant. Love to see it. How about you, Jordan Swag? Also, I saw Deadpool, so no spoilers <laughs> for Jordan and Pedro. <laughs> enough, enough, enough for me. Yeah, uh, I went to that Magic tournament last week. I got right. Uh, I, I I got I did uh, two and one, so I I completely steamrolled my first two matches, and then I drew nothing but planes in my white red deck uh, for the last. Uh, two games and lost. Uh, but yeah, so uh, that 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 went that went that went decently well. I was. What does the age breakdown look like? Honestly, it was it was mostly like twenty to twenty plus. Because like Magic is an expensive game now. Back when I was a kid, you could like buy a booster kit pack for five dollars. Uh-huh. This is like twenty dollars a pack now. This is like an I was adult game for people with the, like disposable yeah. income. Like on Sunday when I was in here editing, I kept like side-eyeing discord i'm like because i expected like there was a non-insignificant chance of jordan showing up to this thing and he's like and there's like just a bunch of like eight-year-olds he's like fuck <laughs> M- most uh I-, I think it was mostly college kids that was that was the vibe i got right on had a good time yeah it was it, yeah. it, it was it was fun got to got to meet some people the point was to socialize so right. i did I, I did that go outside and do stuff people it's good for your the mental grass. health Touch, touch. Yeah, you don't necessarily have to touch grass. Maybe touch, you know. Um, reach reach, <laughs> reach out and touch the Don't, don't, don't you dare to say that. Listen, you're giving their you're, permission to you're, you're giving Pedro a panic attack with all this grass touching talk. <laughs> hey yeah, man, I touched some grass whenever grass. I walked in my car. <laughs> you, you gotta eat the grass and like get killed and turned into a stake so you can be fed to Pedro. So mm. then you can just get wider and wider and wider and wider. Listen, just we we need a wide body. I was gonna look up that filter, but 
I'm been <laughs> <laughs> instead of like long, long man, it's wide, wide Pedro. Yeah. Yes, no, someone needs to get the, the wide uh, picture of me from last week. Yeah, dude, we're going to uh, do it like they do a car when they put the wide body kit on. I'm going to do it with mm-hmm. the rivets. <laughs> oh man, can we can, can we like put a spoiler on Pedro? Can yeah, we like if you can hold him down, <laughs> we can. Can, can. can can we can we get some like hydraulics on him so that he bounces? Again, rivets. We're not using glue. I don't, I don't want it to fall off. All right, I'll I'll, I'll hold him down. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Pedro. How you doing? What's up? Uh, no, uh, Game of Tronda uh, had a good suggestion of uh, taking the uh, white picture of me and uh, getting it burned on someone's. Uh, LED uh, <laughs> OLED monitor. So please, someone, go ahead. <laughs> Why would you ever do that? That would be horrible. <laughs> you know, to retrace. Uh, you know, because it's accurate. Uh, given that this is the twelfth year that we're beginning of Linux Gamecast, uh, to r- get uh, one of the old happenings of someone getting my face burned onto their monitor because the. YouTube playlist that they were playing crashed with my face on it. So now there's a glowing I, I think, <laughs> version I, I of my think face. Civilization turns and culture have moved on. Now it's going to require feet pics. <laughs> <laughs> what is what what is Pedro's rating on celebritytheedarchive.com? Oh no. I have n- no. Send us some hate mail if you know. <laughs> Listen, yeah, exactly. Let us know. Uh, if, did, if you, you, get if you are Pedro's wiki feet maintainer, send if, us some hate mail. I'm just saying <laughs> If he ends up on celebrity armpits, I will neither confirm or deny it's real. <laughs> the most famous pits on LGC. Right. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Just oh, saying. he's flashing it. Oh, that, oh. Is, now, now we're going to get taken down. This is there too we out go. for Twitch. Too, way too out for Twitch. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and jump into it this week because the horse likes, his, um, likes the loo. The, the, the horse uh, stepped into that port john and he has not gotten out yet because he's been threatened by legal action. It's the Steam Let's talk. Let's talk about potty mouths. So uh, you may have heard that there is a skibbity toilet movie in the works directed by or produced by none other than the Bayhem himself. Uh, and you, if you don't know what Skibbity Toilet is, it's a YouTube series, I, I guess, TikTok YouTube series, web, online web series, um, featuring a bunch of characters, or it's basically a machinima from Gary's Mod. Uh, they, they use it to make this story about heads in toilets, singing jazz music, and now, uh, and now they are sending, now some lawyers are sending Gary from Gary's Mod some ceases and desists. Uh, he, so this came from an offhand mention where he's like, man, I got a DMCA request from the Skibbity Toilet guys. This is getting kind of ridiculous. Turns out that actually happened about a year ago. Things were cleared up. Um, no, no one is actually trying to claim that the Skibbity Toilet people own the, uh, the assets they're in because they're, you know, free sourceful maker assets from Gary's mod. The the fuck boom. the, The creator's like, yeah, I have no idea what the hell this is about. Um, Yeah. But I, I, I don't know. I still want to know, like, what is the sanitized corporate movie by committee version of Skibbity Toilet <laughs> going to look like? Because, like, are there going to be, like, photorealistic heads and photorealistic toilets? One of the things that we, we, we touched on, Gary's we touched mind. on this during a track mania. Come play track <laughs> mania with us on Tuesdays and Fridays, kids. It's on Linux Gamecast. Look it up. Was you can't make movies. You can't put a bunch of actors out in the middle of fucking nowhere with a bag of cocaine and say, have it. Those days are done. So yeah, you got to think about it. So you need people like Pedro to explain shit, to help, give us a little plot element of the fuck's going on here. <laughs> Ex- explain. <laughs> Justify yes. yourself. Okay. Call um, commentary. The human race is slowly being transformed into skibbity toilets, and uh, the, the, they're evolving, and they're getting new attachments in the toilets and weapons and shit. It's basically like a sci-fi zombie story where the zombies are the toilet people <laughs> uh and if you get it, bit it, by a toilet person do you turn into a toilet person maybe <laughs> uh <laughs> that's the thing the actual transformation of how it happens is a little dubious but uh no it it, are, it, are it they, keeps escalating itself and it there's there's so many like subplots and like little stuff that they pull uh for each of the seasons as they call them uh it 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 is genuinely 
if you have like two or three minutes to burn, just watch an episode. That's mm. it. <laughs> uh, and it is as sci-fi stories go. It's a lot better than you'd think. Uh, oh, 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 but, oh, oh, oh. So, so all that, all that being said, how do you predict Michael Bay is going to ruin this? <laughs> Way too many explosions. I mean, there's already a lot of explosions in Skibbity Toilet, the, uh, the series. But uh, it, it, it's going to be way too many explosions, uh, unnecessarily so. And uh, probably Shia LaBeouf will be involved. <laughs> Listen, man, as long as the toilets transform, uh, this was kind of wild to see. And, you know, Gary kind of sat on it and he's like, this is the bullshit. Why was he thinking it was bullshit? He was like, y'all motherfuckers about to find out who the owner of the um, intellectual the property is. is. It ain't me. <laughs> Um, <laughs> who who made that head? Who made that huh, toilet? My uh, little indie company called Valve. <laughs> All right, and you don't want to yeah. fuck with Valve. Like I don't care what like misled like lawyer legal team like just rent, you know throwing the stuff out there you know trying to do you know scatter shot. Valve just fucking buy you, man. Like so, I'm glad this got cleared up. It I was expecting some popcorn because. You might assume there's a non-zero chance that the creator of Skibbity Toilet was dumb enough to try to pull some shit like that. Turns out, no, kid's got a fucking brain in his head, you know, in the toilet, however you want to rock and roll with that. <laughs> and uh, we wait with bated breath to see how, because uh, Valve's got to be involved with the production of Skibbity, the musical it's, There's universe. at least going to be some licensing fees the being Skibbity paid. Verse. <laughs> yes, I've wished it into existence. But, oh my god, but what if... What if it's so successful that Half Life Three is just Skibbity Toilet? What no, if it turns out the combine never is going just to be Half Life Three? <laughs> way more probable is that Skibbity is going to be in Deadlock. Deadlock's still alive. <laughs> They're still working on it. Pavel, who keeps track of all the steamy bits on X, is like, "Uh oh, Deadlock announcement soon?" Question mark. And he's it's changed from uh, nothing going on in the app config. But like, hmm. Mark? It's no longer Project 8 staging huh. before it was deadlock, and then it became Project 8 huh. staging, and then now it's deadlock again. <laughs> now uh, we just move over to the day two, and like, uh oh, game followers in on this. Make your bets. When's it going to get released? It's uh, directly so, from staging to release, which probably means, uh, well, it didn't fucking mean it's going to release this week, like I thought, because, you know, this was from July 31st, and I'm like, shit, man, Saturday, we're going to be playing some No, We Ain't. Um, <laughs> no way. And a, you know, what do you, what do you <laughs> am I excited or am I curious? This is a problem because I think I'm going to have a hard time being excited about this because let's be honest, you know, they're definitely working on this. They did some sleuthing around, you know, they have preview.playdeadlock.com, they have beta playdeadlock.com. Like Valve's getting this thing set up for staging to go play with and all the subdomains. And we're all going to, we're, we're definitely going to play it at least once. Like, we are together, see what it's about. And it might be the first hero shooter ever that I just didn't immediately bounce off of from lack of, you know, yeah, I know Joe, DSN Joe, uh, responsible for the wide body Pedro kid. Like, well, I forget what game he played, Overwatch or whatever Overwatch. the fuck. Yeah. Uh, oh, Joe Overwatch 2. He got like excited. He's like, what were you doing in the game? I'm like, I just need to see if it would launch. And I immediately closed it. I'm done. So here's what I want to know. How many of y'all in the audience listening right now, watching later, leave me a comment. Think this is going to be a free game. And why do you believe that? Just because you, you got a Fifi somewhere down there. You're like, oh, Valve is good. What if Valve walks out? Because Valve traditionally didn't release free games. We were yeah, getting kind of weird good. with like, you know, they made the transition, right? Team Fortress 2. Mm, I wasn't free. Money up front, then it goes free to Right, play. Counter-Strike. <laughs> that was <laughs> sure as well. Team Fortress 2. I was looking up uh, Mar 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 Marvel <laughs> Rivals, you know, Mar Marvel Watch. It's in closed beta right now. Um, so I'm not sure if that one's going to be free either. Um, oh, Steam's yeah. making that? No, but uh, it's, it's another game of that sort that is like releasing in and around the same time. So I'm just mm. like... So just in terms of like what what its competition would be if it releases as a free game, if Marvel Rivals is also out at the same time as a free game versus a paid game, there may be some. There may yeah, be Dota Two wasn't free is. at first either. Five I mean, zero, I mean, so. va 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 Valve's uh, Valve's play is usually. What do we have it, left that you still got to pay for? Uh, like the one paid Valve game outside of a 
rim job is uh left for dead uh Alex? the half lives <laughs> yeah but but usually usually they they put stuff out for money and then they'll transition it to free after mm-hmm. a certain amount of time so, so maybe do we it's... think we're gonna see free with cosmetics or are they gonna roll up and be like yeah this thing's 20 bucks i think I, they're I, probably going to do what they've done historically and charge money up front because let's not forget that overwatch also did that um it's yeah no uh, <laughs> but v- v- valve valve is also in a very different position from blizzard they could just they could potentially launch a game that is just like uh cosmetic item supported and they they have the mechanism they, or they have the infrastructure in place to like make that a problem now game, jordan so you know that they've done that with tf2 and they've done that with csgo so what i, I don't know either way but i could definitely see valve going yeah, we had enough of this shit. Um, uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I, I don't think there's enough information to like determine either yeah. way. They've, 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 they've definitely gone one way. They've definitely gone another it way. It would absolutely yeah. hurt and help the game at the same time if it mm-hmm. was uh, paid. It would hurt it in the immediate adoption and people playing it perpetually forever, but it would definitely help it for as the community because it, even if it was 99p, it would drastically improve the community. If there was now, money involved versus a free game, it will. I, there, there's like been way too much evidence on that shit. Oh, yeah. I, I, I just I have a question. What do you think that uh, that landing page is going to be? Is it going to look like every single live service game, or is Valve going to do like the classic Source oh, Engine? Oh no! Just I, like I, on, I, on, I, on the, on the bottom uh, left. No, 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 no! I, I want some Stumble Buddy level bullshit. <laughs> all, all Skinner box all the time. Click, yeah. me, click, me, click, me, click, 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 click. You feel like you're defusing the bomb trying to get into the game. You're like, all right, yeah. how do we do this? Keep talking and nobody explodes yeah. the menu. Yeah, what I'm curious is uh, how are people going to react when Valve releases yet another hero, shoot, uh, hero shooter um, versus the years-long active campaign about their previous hero shooter that's still ongoing? <laughs> I don't even know what game you're talking about, so there's your question. TF2. I, I, Save oh, TF2. Would, yeah, fuck that is, one. Is, is, is that a hero shooter? I think, yeah, I think that's... It, that is the primordial hero shooter. That's the thing that uh, I, okay, Overwatch okay. cribbed off of. I, I, I would not describe the TF2 cast as, like, heroes. A proto-hero in- shooter? Yeah, like, <laughs> um, ro- 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 role-based shooter. Or a like- MOBA shooter, I'm seeing yes, that from uh, Freezer. Y- you can revert the language back to what it originally the- was, which was a class-based Base. shooter. All right. But, but uh, it is what, effectively the exact same principle because what's a hero? It's how far, effectively how far a class. What, 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 is, what is the hero? We, we get it. Okay, <laughs> see, the goal now is to try to roll, walk this all the way back to tic tac toe, okay? <laughs> oh, no, no. It, it, every game is just kick the can, right? All like, right. <laughs> uh, no, but what, what, the, the other thing I'm really interested in is like these games are tend to be made and braided by bra- broken by their roster, right? We saw a couple of the characters uh, from the leaked footage. Overwatch had some pretty iconic characters, and I think that was like a big contributor to his success. Was that everyone could of kind porn. of pick their own? Oh, yes, a lot of porn, but everyone could pick their own favorite porn of who they wanted to see get fucked. <laughs> Will we get that with Deadlock? Is what I was what I wanted. Maybe I don't know. I mean, it, it we don't know. We have no idea. It's all speculation. With like, is like with the entire roster, if it's going to be Dota two, I have no idea who. I couldn't name one Dota two unless somebody just happened to be called Dota two guy. Ah, I, I I love Dota too. He fight aliens and doesn't yeah, right? afraid of anything. Such like, a cool and, dude. unless you give me some Left for Dead shit or some Half Life shit, like that's it. Like, oh man, dude, if Coach, if Coach is in fucking Fuck Deadlock, yes, that would be go. great. Let's there, go. There you go. That, over here. That's like the seasonal thing. You get seasonal characters like Gordon Freeman, Doctor Kleiner. No, nope, I want to play as <laughs> as the crowbar. I, <laughs> no, you, you you play as Hetty, just like a giant oh, life-size. Oh, is, is it going to be like one of those things, like if you win enough times in a round, like in the Star Wars game where you get to play as Vader, but somebody gets to play as fucking G-Man? Yeah. Yeah. No, but you <laughs> get all the work. G-Man powers, so all you get yeah, to do is like... Just, just, people up. Yeah, right? No, 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 you just go to like different parts in the level geometry and stare at them and you go like... Oh, right. Oh, that's all you could do, right? Yeah, you, that's all you can do is G-Man. Yeah, peek around corners. <laughs> yeah. Appear through windows. All right. <laughs> up next... Jackbox finally did something that everyone's been asking for for like 20 years, man. Ever since they released more than one Jackbox party pack. Because if you got that, I think I got them all. Except for like the very last one they've released. You get like five games in a party pack. And it's hard to keep track of them. Everybody's like, could we just have a menu? And they're like, ah, maybe, eventually. (laughs) They finally did it. Introducing the Jackbox 
Mega Picker that came out this Mostly week. Mostly positive. Hey, not man. A, it's not kinda, overwhelmingly. Kind of hard to fuck this up. Man. 72%. <laughs> did they turn it into a launcher to try to sell you more shit? They did, and it might hit differently for some people. Like I said, I already own everything except for the last pack. And yeah, they're like, hey, buy these. But there is a button. There is a button in the menu. It's like, only show me the games I own, motherfucker. And it's like, okay, fine. And you click it. And if you don't have that pack installed, it'll install it for you. And it works under Linux most of the time. Sometimes they did an update because I went back and tried to relaunch it. And it was like, I don't feel like opening. I'm like, well, if I just close Steam and open it, now I work again. I'm like, fine. We'll do that. You can search. It works. It's nice and smooth. And here's something new to the Jackbox franchise on PC. You can resize the fuck mothering window. <gasps> It has Not 720p or full screen. Yeah, no more AB. So I was worried this entire time. Every development machine at uh, Jackbox, they were forced to use 720p monitor. They had no idea that uh, anything higher than 720p existed. Or they were like, because oh, I have to play this shit when we're streaming in a fucking 720p window, even on a 43 inch monitor. That's small, Brad. This the highest resolution flash supports or some shit. Uh, dude, yeah, from whatever. <laughs> with their uh roots so i mean it does run here on debian 12 no problems with that select little launcher use it if you get a bunch of jackpot because it's got the search thing right there i can't tell you how many times in the after shows and we're like yeah you want to play that oh fuck which one was that one in and you got to go through and find it and install that one to get you still got to install it but it's got the search it's, it's convenient stick around for the after shows and we're going to play truffle truffle 2 which is free right now so maybe if you're listening on monday and you hurry up and go to steam and just get it that's never been in a party pack. Mm, We've never played it. Oh. Yeah. New to us, maybe. Old <laughs> to you. Now let's get into some high pumping adrenaline fueled action. Gardening. God damn it. <laughs> Literal gardening. Yes. Uh, no, we're not talking about um, any of the gardening games that have come out that have turned out to be very popular. This is a brand new one. The Garden Path, developed by Carrot Cake. You am no real Super Sand. Uh, <laughs> no, it is. Uh, just, uh, they describe it as a slice of life sim about the joy of gardening. So that should tell you everything you need to know. It goes for about 20 bucks. Uh, and it is Linux native, which, you, yeah. Sure, I, there's bound to be the one Linux person <laughs> who enjoys the um, positive vibes and surprisingly eerie atmosphere of going from the screenshots in the trailer. So the atmosphere that they have going on is that's that's a little more um, nuanced than I uh, had expected. It, it, so it gets <laughs> described in one review as a very cryptic Animal Crossing, which mm. uh, I, I, I can I can kind of see that or like um. What was uh, Stardew Valley? If you're in, mm -hmm. if you're in if you're into that kind of game, I think this is this is. I don't know, Jordan. I uh, saw this and I was like, "Are we both thinking like Grow Farm? Where? Yeah. The, uh, see, that's that's what I want. I would play we, one of these. Change the scenery games. to like Bolivia for reasons. <laughs> no, but like, I guess that's the problem. If I was gonna play like a weed growing game, it's like, but can I can I print the weed? Can I do Control P and then just, just smoke my uh, can smoke my the stuff that I grew in the game? Okay, no. there is not. Okay, dude, what were, what would be the under and over? I just typed in a search for like Grow Farm on Steam. Does this game exist? Yes or no? I'm gonna say yeah. There's a lot of games on Steam. Grow what? Grow, grow farm. farm. Like growing cannabis. Just grow farm. A cannabis okay. uh, growing, <laughs> growing distribution <laughs> operation, Pedro. Have you seen? Have, have you seen? Uh, he plays uh, coy like he doesn't Lockstock. run a drug empire allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> You, you you live you live in Guy Ritchie land where everyone talks like they're in Lockstock and Sue smoking barrels. London's a little bit far away, and I make it a point of steering well fucking clear. <laughs> when you search for Grow Farm, you find the real drug. So yeah, you <laughs> and Matter Lords, that, uh, that's and, very and, popular, and yes. Farming Simulator, <laughs> RimWorld, yeah. All right. <laughs> there, that's the thing. Go check it out. And up next is a card game. It's not yeah. Serpent in the Staglands, though All it right. does have a, uh, a similarly <laughs> complex name. It is Spirits of the Silicium uh, Forest. Um, and Cilicium? it is a Cilicium? Cilicium? I don't know. Um, it, it's, it's very complicated. It is a cyberpunk uh, deck building uh, tactical RPG. Uh, it's not really a deck builder, according to the reviews. It's just more you collect 
uh, you collect abilities and then that they uh, they are represented as cards. Uh, you're, but you don't actually like randomly draw hands of cards and whatnot. Um, the one negative review said that the end of the story was a real bummer. So if you don't like depressing stories, this game may not be for you, but it looks cool. And I do like me turning, I do like turning some mountains sideways and playing fireballs. So might be up my alley. There's, I think, two, um, oh, join their negative Discord reviews channel. now. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, it, the, the other one major complaint that I saw even in some of the positive reviews was that uh, apparently the story is really short, so it's a very good thing that they decided to include the roguelike mode out of the box. That way you always have the... uh... Let let me ask you this. Would you prefer a short story or one that drags? Because I think when people say, like, the game has a short story, I'm a fan of efficient storytelling. If there, there, there's a lot, I guess a lot of TV lately just like drags on a lot. So I don't, I'm, yeah. I'm curious what, uh, what's, dude, what's, what's that, your opinion. That, that's that. like trying to pick your favorite ferret, homie, because like, <laughs> it depends on what type of mood I am. And like, if if I play a two hour game and it rolls credits, see, this is the problem. You can have a good story and you're like, you can get into it, then credits, you're like, mother, what? <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> and, but would you prefer that? Like what Jordan's saying versus something like The Witcher 3, or like, fucking get it over with come on let's I, go i was thinking borderlands 3 borderlands 3 just keeps going and going and going and Filler going game, right yeah yeah so honestly i don't I think either of the, the what i'm getting to is i don't think <laughs> yeah. either of those are ideal you you want that squishy parody middle there and the, you know where you're sitting mm-hmm. there like or games that hit that uh horizon ginger turbo that hits it near automata tomato that hits it um so near can it, it 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 depends if you uh go through all of the optional content and find all the secrets if you're and whatnot. A fucking kleptomaniac you love it <laughs> that story can drag out a little bit but like the perfect example for me is um a game two games that have basically the same runtime and they're in the same series and one feels perfectly nice it's like yes that was a good story perfect amount of time whatnot the other one is like fucking really that's where you're gonna end it the original metro which was really good it had like an eight hour story dude that's that original it. metro but, but i mean that that's a cliffhanger good ending man it's yeah no but it, it is an ending it, it is genuinely mad, mad plus exciting ending. exciting I'm like oh, oh <laughs> it's oh. like uh, okay, uh, you go through like the hallucination bits, and then you make the choice mm-hmm. at the end. It's like, okay, all right, no, that that was a well told story in about eight hours. Neat. Uh, Metro, um, Last Light, uh, the one after that. Mm-hmm. The fuck was that? <laughs> it was just meandering all the way along, and it ends in the middle of a fucking shootout. Just like, well, wait, there's one after that though, right? Last light. Yes, uh, there's the the new one, uh, which is yeah. It, it was uh, like a semi open world ish. You move from semi open areas on to semi train. open areas. Yeah, you get on the train, you choo choo, and yes, <laughs> then, then you get bored. You choo like, choose your own adventure. Yeah. Thirteen hours. I, I didn't really get bored with it. I just run, yeah, you get sidetracked in games. Yeah, uh, my, my my point is like I my, and I guess my my opinion is that I would go for the shorter story rather than the longer meandering one. If you're at least have a fucking end. It depends on what type of move on it. Because I like a yeah. game. See, you keep all these around though. Like, you know, we're we're we're, we're, yeah, all, they're, they're, we're there's pretending a time and a place, right? Like Sith. yeah. Like right now I'm like, only yeah. absolutes, motherfucker. Absolutes. <laughs> yeah, Shut gu- up, gu- Yoda. Gu- gu- gun to your head. Are you gonna play this right. long game or the short game? Like, and I yeah. got I got different games for like different moods. Like I always talk about like I want to always have like on the back burner my uh which is Darksiders three right now, which they just released a Darksiders fucking teaser trailer and I'm like, Oh, you're waiting on me, huh? Um but my Darksiders three game I'm playing right now is my I always like to have I need something for like 10 or 15 fucking minutes to like open worldy third person to just like jump in and fuck around game. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't care how long that game is, but you know, Cause you're just gonna, you're just gonna poke at it like yeah, 15 minutes like, at a exactly. time. Exactly. A little bit like the longer, the better really as long as I'm like getting incredibly fucking boring. So I guess it, you know, it's, you're able to have like, you want like all of that, I guess. I mean, we're an embarrassment of riches. That's what we have. Like, if you want it, you can find the game these days. It's not, you know, you don't have to choose between Mario and uh, Sonic. 
better. Sonic was better. What? How dare you can <laughs> compare? Well, to Sonic, the glory Sonic that was is Sonic. Nintendo. Sonic just has a lot of porn associated with it. There's all, <laughs> dude. There is an equal Allow amount me to of Mario porn. introduce you to porn. Prince and Bowser, motherfucker. Uh, let, let, see, no, let, that... let me introduce you to Mario <laughs> is pregnant with Luigi. Get back to me. Strangest DLC of I didn't think it, they had the cojones to release that one, but they yeah, did. That, that, yeah, that, that, that was a weird turn for the Super Mario Sunshine DLC. It was. But, uh, they went there. You, 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 you I'll know, admit I, I the pictures them. I've see, seen talk, of uh, talk about stories with a very, very tight brave. ending. Very the tight pictures ending. I've seen of uh, Goth Peach. I'm down. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Goth Boy 2D. <laughs> yes. Do you remember a long time ago when uh, Humble used to do those Humble Indie bundles that had, you know, brand new Linux games and Steam on Linux wasn't even a thing yet? You may remember that there was a game called World of Goo. Yes. You played a lot of that. I know I did. <laughs> and now, well, now there's World of Goo 2. More it, it It's literally just come out. Uh, came out uh, yesterday or um, day before at the time of recording. And it was completely out of nowhere. Apparently, uh, they have a little Be blurb. Be not afraid. The, <laughs> they have a little blurb on B the... Biblically uh, accurate World of Goo. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the end of the... Um, at the bottom of the page. Not the end necessarily, uh, <laughs> but it's like, why is it on Epic and not, not on Steam? Goop, goop here, because they took uh, Epic's money to not be on Steam, so you can buy the Linux version directly from the developers, which I would always advise is the best way to do it, and it is DRM free. So yeah, absolutely. If you like yeah. World of Goo, Did and you if you buy like. It? The not yet. <laughs> okay, somebody leave me a comment because in a situation like this, uh, in order for me to buy it, uh, hate me if you want, hate me, but I'm only buying that if I get a Steam key. Eventually. I'm or just give waiting it to for the humble GOG. bundle. <laughs> no, I, I don't run my GOG client through whatever bullshit is working this week. I want a Steam key. <laughs> Why? Because I can keep track of it. That's it. I, my days of like having a games folder, that's just gone, Holmes. I still have that. I with don't. a lot of wine games that nope. aren't on Steam. That, those games do not exist in the Veniverse. <laughs> Which is funny, because my Steam games hold folder is just like Drive 1, Drive 2, Drive 3, and all the actual drives are mounted under there, mm -hmm. and that's where all the Steam app folders live. So. Oh, man. Uh, I enjoyed the game, you know, back in the long, long ago. Uh well, like, th 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 that was the thing when the first Humble Indie Bundle came out. I was like, wow, World of Goo is like a game with some like name recognition behind it. And it's available on Linux. The I first four bundles before Steam, the Steam beta came out for Linux. Mm -hmm. That's like, oh, my God, genuine new Linux games. <laughs> yeah. But I think people got gooed out <laughs> because the World of Goo game quickly became like that filler game in the bundles. <laughs> well, they all they always did like the uh, bonus games were the base games from the previous bundle. Well, not even like the Hundy Humble um, indie bundle, but just like when Humble was just doing the every bundle bullshit every other week. Right, and, like yeah, there was yeah. always a copy of World of Goo <laughs> floating around in there for like a buck. Uh, we all watched the trailer, and I remember we we did discuss the trailer with like, oh, that just looks like the same game, but more of it, which isn't a bad thing if you really enjoyed the first game. I didn't see anything in the trailer that was like, oh, shit, brand new mechanic. Maybe It's, it's more dynamic, the, 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 the way that the levels dynamic. connect. Dynamic. Our, 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 <laughs> RTX on, we got our ray traced goo. I like the idea of dynamicis. <laughs> I, I have very dynamic. Are you rendering. dynamic? <laughs> I'm so dynamic. All right. Lots of squats went into those thighs. That's not the only <laughs> blast from the past we got for you this week, because in the realm of updates... Yeah, Battle Block HD. Um, you might remember Battle Block Theater. I remember I first heard about this on Game Grumps or Steam Train. And then I was like, oh, there's a Linux version. And I played a little bit of that with, uh, with Sandy. And um, now they have a new... Or they have an update coming out, because... Uh, they're 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 trying to get this all on the uh, PS5 and Xbox XB X, 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 X tricky. Yeah, they're, they're trying to get it on the new generation of consoles. That means that they got to update the uh, to the latest version of FNA, which means that all the PC versions get all the benefits as well. So we get all of those fixes that are coming out. Spoon would have been nice to see them adding like four player multiplayer to the main campaign. You can play the story maps 
uh, with four players, but you do need to like basically like download the Steam Workshop recreated versions of them and then do them in multiplayer so you don't get any of the cinematics or the story. You just get the levels. You so know, it would have been I, nice I to get mad respect that. though, nerd, uh, the because uh, everybody wants the Ultra Bodies Co op Chaos Pack. Mm hmm. Which is only two fucking copies, motherfuckers. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the two people that you can play in co-op in the campaign. <laughs> we need yeah. more. Add more players. <laughs> HD graphics. I, I like seeing old stuff like this. Uh, you know, it's not a new game, but it's, you know, a fresh coat of paint, lacquery hairdo, sparkly cowboy boots, and uh, usually I, some quality of life shit thrown in there. It's a better love story than Beth Mastered Quake anything. I <laughs> need to keep, I need to look at Pit People. That was the other game that Behemoth uh, released that was in that sort of style. That mm -hmm. was like a strategy game that I thought looked really, really cool, but I never got around to playing because it didn't have a native Linux version. Now with Proton, yeah, it might right. just be great. Yeah. yeah, they also did a Castle Crashers, right? Yes. Ah. Yes. Ah. Yeah, uh, the, 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 the one, they're very, uh, very associated with Tiny Build. Those, those guys are like longtime partners. Yeah, the um, there's no time to explain. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, those people. Uh, yeah, no. What I saw was the uh, there was an announcement that uh, Sultan Sanctuary had a new version out, and I opened it and I looked at the notes. It's like, okay, that's all. Like the Windows version is being replaced from XNA to Mono Game, which the Linux version already was. But they also very much advertised the uh, 4K UHD stuffs. So I guess. Uh, Flippity boppity boopy is uh, getting some work and uh, doing some updates for uh, the FNA versions that these games are running, which is very, very good. <laughs> good. What do you think about the pixel art? And uh, what are your thoughts on sharp pixels, Pedro Mateus? I like sharp pixels. <laughs> Given the option to upscale older games so that they still look pixely, but high resolution pixely, I'm down. <laughs> A pox upon you. <laughs> You're gonna go to the hell worst for kind that of opinion, purist. <laughs> or at the very least, That's not even purist, dude. Like they, nobody ever saw the sharp pixels. They didn't exist. The sharp pixels are a creation of hipsters. Like there were no sharp. Well, pixels. they're a result of uh, CRTs going to LCDs. <laughs> LCDs nuts. Oh, <laughs> I don't know, man. If you take a composite signal that this is not like pulled off digital and you feed it through a fucking S video or component, it's still not sharp. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then if you feed that into like a 4K but if you put a shader screen, over it and fuck with it a little bit, I'm like, no, what? no, no, like a actual 4K LCD with a decent internal scaler, you're gonna see those pixels and you're gonna see them good, <laughs> and it ain't gonna look right. <laughs> Not even a little bit. The ghost of Sonic is gonna haunt your ass, man. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about shit that haunted our ass. Doom. 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 154RC1 pre release is uh, it's outdated. It's 154, <laughs> but all the information's in this one, so deal with it. A couple of things in this um, all the mods ready to go. We got the blood mod, perfect Doom. Skid mod, not skibbity mod. Not skibbity <laughs> we, skibbity. We, 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 we need skibbity toilet mod for mm. Doom 3. The reason I want to bring this up, man, they put a fucking new menu in Doom 3, dude, and I'm like, you guys would just keep on rocking with this. Uh, it does need SDL 2 now, which is good. No more thick, hard, throbbing particles. Now they're soft. You got soft particles. I love to see that. And Jordan was very excited to learn. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Doom 3 mods, Archive for Linux, the Libra Coop has been updated. It works again, so if you want to relive that bullshit nightmare that Jordan and I went through where we beat it, because this is, this is why we're very selective about like games when we, because we're going to fucking beat the game, even if it takes us like eight months to get through it. If we, <laughs> if we have to fight the train, we will fight the train. Yes, we will. Yeah, but like, I, I, don't, I don't know. I will still say that multiplayer co-op Doom 3 is still more fun than just regular Doom 3 oh, hell yeah. by yeah, a country dude. mile. Yeah, like I had, I bought Doom 3 because it had a Linux build, uh, even though I couldn't even get audio working when I bought that for whatever reason <laughs> uh, back in the day, like whatever, 300 years ago when it released. Back I when got, Linux audio was broken. <laughs> yeah, like you had Ulsa and like this Pulse audio thing was kind of working, but it didn't work with whatever. And I played it and I got bored with it. And I'm like, 
because I, I got tired of just like, okay, this game, I just walk backwards into every fucking room. Got it. All right. Yeah, the, the, it has the one move. Mm-hmm. You walk into a room, and then it spawns the guy behind you. Co-op at least made that uh, more physics-y, broken team bullshittery. <laughs> so good on that project. That's going to do it for all of our steamy bits this week, though, because now we got to jump into the news and talk about what's really important, our friends at Redmond. So now, part, part, let me go ahead and hit you with it. <laughs> let me go ahead and hit you with it. I got it right here at the top, man. CrowdStrike fucked up. Pedro got that. Microsoft's like, damn, we need to stop people fucking around directly with that kernel. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, didn't they try that? Yeah, they tried that shit back in 2006, man. They're like, mm-hmm. Microsoft's like, we need to stop people <laughs> fucking around with our kernel. And Symantec was like, bitch, we're going to take you to court. And the EU legislation was like, bitch, we'll let them. So Microsoft, like, fine, <laughs> fine, we'll give you some APIs to fuck around with. Microsoft knew this was a problem a long time ago, long before this crowd strike. And why do we take it? Because how many times on this show have we talked about kernel level anti cheat fucking us over here in Linux land? Why? Because that shit don't work with Proton, so we don't get our LOLs, our League of Legends, and this new EA thing. Because all that's tied into the Windows kernel. Can't mess around with it. Now they can't pull that shit off on Mac OS X. And Windows is like, we'd like to be more like that. That sounds like a really good idea. So I'm just thinking, man, maybe they're going to bring back the patch card like they did in 2006. They're like, we're, we're going to have this entire system that's going to prevent you from doing anything kernel level and all that. You got to do it like big boys. But I don't just think so. Force S mode onto everyone <laughs> there. I, I, yeah, I, 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 mean, I mean, like much like Symantec tried, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna piss and moan because they're like, oh, no, we're going to have to actually write code. We don't want to no, do that. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like in 2006, would you argue that Symantec and even Norton had a leg to stand on with going, y'all bitches really want this to run with that antivirus? Yeah, yeah I, sure I, I, about I, that? I, 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 I guess in, in, in a pre-Windows Defender world, absolutely. Um, but yeah, uh, no, I think um, o- overall that they have the right idea. Like we, we, we've seen this already in Linux land where we have very, very clear wall of separation, a church and state between user space and kernel mm-hmm. space. And we really don't like it when things go between one and the other. We're like, we want people to be able to do things in user space. If you need to do it in kernel space, it should be a hook so that someone in user space can do it later on. Um, and yeah, I think grossly reducing the kernel access in Windows would have a like, nice downstream effect, at least from like the OS perspective. I do worry though, and like we, we've already started seeing it with like um, uh, Vanguard and FTPM. But uh, if this is going to encourage studios to investigate and demand more hardware-based solutions for anti-cheat and uh, detection, get ready for the quad Yuffie key. You need right? four, <laughs> two plugged into the front, two in the back. No, yeah, no, yeah. you have it's, this. It's, it's like uh, the little, Mr. Garrison thing for it, your computer. It just goes into all the holes, <laughs> and it you have this you from internal USB header thing that's like a TPM chip that you have to plug in before dude, you can play the game. Dude, we are not. Dude, I I can see an, a lol key. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> free free game, but you gotta pay nineteen ninety five for the lol key. Well, no, right you just got, you just gotta pay shipping, right? Like that's. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, give, they'll give it away because they'll make the money back oh, no, on no, no, like no, no, the no, first no. skin you buy. Jordan, how dare you? They'll lease it to you. Oh no, yes. it, no, no! It, it, <laughs> you're not being sold it. You pay for shipping, and they right, will right, re- right. you rent you rent the little right. module that you plug into your computer. Um, Kernel level stuff bad. That's what we're going to yeah. boil it down to. <laughs> and yeah, maybe the good thing that comes out of this that us as people over here in Linux land are going to get is they're going to have to rethink some of this kernel level anti-cheat bullshit that prevents us from playing like three fucking games, maybe four. I really need my destiny, you guys. <laughs> I really need you, it. Man. I'm a fork Ooh, knife. Bungie is not doing terribly great right now. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> no, no, no. You know what? <laughs> they are not. You know, if they're feeling bad, they, they, you know, they're like, shit, we're kind of fucking like, what about Intel? Like, you know what? We're not doing it. <laughs> yeah, it, Intel it, is uh, just like, somehow well, we'll just doing worse. <laughs> Intel is just like, don't worry about it. We'll just give you another CPU that'll explode. Don't worry about it. It's well, patched now. Dude, did you see what they fucking did, man? They went like, like okay, we're going to extend your warranty for like three fucking years on these uh, moldy fucking CPUs. Unless they fuck. Oh, I saw that in uh, uh, Tech Jesus's fucking video, dude. They fucking moved the line because if you bought it in a tray, who remembers buying mm-hmm. shit in trays? OEM shit, right? No box. You did that, get fucked. 
Yeah, mm. no, the tray just got removed yeah, and yeah. no longer have an Why option. Why would you do that? Well, because the people who were ordering it in bulk uh, system, if you're building, you know, data centers and all that, no, you guys, well, you, you got too many of our problems <laughs> that we caused. Uh, yes. Mm. You, well, you can make in another order of several thousand units because you can afford that. <laughs> Intel. Why? Because they, they can. <laughs> That's just, why. Please, let, just get Battle Mage out before you completely implode. <laughs> God damn. What do you think the odds are 20 years from now? This is going to sound weird. Here is my crazy ass prediction NVIDIA is going to be making CPUs, AMD is going to be making CPUs, Intel is going to be a fucking ATI. They're just going to be making little GPUs. That's it. <laughs> uh, I think Intel has way too much baggage to ever fall that far. Bitch, they dropped to a 50 year low in the stock market, homie. Yeah, yes. <laughs> they they, they, they go dropped you, to $26 for a, a little while. Do, 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 uh, do, do you think that's bad? <laughs> do you think the x86 architecture is ever going to end up like something like Spark, where it is just like this highly specialized thing that only one company produces? And if you want those x86 servers, you got to go to. Yeah, if I gotta go, like, well, actually, on that, like, uh, the thing about Spark and why it's still alive today is because it was an open uh, architecture. Mm. That's why, uh, you know, the place I went and hung out with was um, Fujitsu. They were the, mm. they're still the last manufacturers of the uh, Spark platform. Um, which still, is a, the, I, I, I guess my point is more like it becomes yeah, yeah, yeah. the sort of specialized, like, you, you, you your, your options are risk nine, arm <laughs> V twelve, and then yeah, you I mean, have that's the what money, we're gonna see. Can, we're, I, yeah. I, like if you tell me in like 20 years from now, you're like, okay, yeah, oh, NVIDIA, no, NVIDIA got out of the fucking GPU business. Like they sell AI accelerators and they're fucking uh, CPUs and, uh, you know, AMD's got, and they're all in better bullshit. No, in, 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 NVIDIA just sells cars now. That's yeah, why not? <laughs> and like, well, whatever happened to Intel? Like, oh, they make GPUs. <laughs> Fine. All right. They, they make GPUs and credit card sized computers for hobby projects. Yes. Oh, yes, the Intel, yes. Uh, <laughs> the Raspberry Pi competitor that people actually wanted. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one last thing before we get out of here. Uh, something we brought up on the show before, but we're getting another round of it. And I thought, like, hey, you know what? We need to give this another mention, man. Let make people aware of it. Help me out a little bit. If one million people sign a petition, a ban on rendering multiplayer games unplayable has a chance to become law in Europa. Yes, there is an initiative underway. If you haven't heard about it, basically I'll tell you a lot more about it. Uh, like I said, this is making the rounds. I'm like, hey, all right. There was a new video out. Last time I looked, I had about 100,000 views, which isn't a bad start. I think we had like 50. What's that up to now? A couple more signatures on that. 125,000 and counting. Pretty ah, good. So, well, so, I didn't so expect the, so it to go 10%. backwards. All right. So <laughs> People uh, very important. Minds. Yeah, you got to make sure you say and counting on that. I don't want to say and reducing. <laughs> That would be awfully strange. So what is our European Citizens Initiative? Well, it allows, you can check this out, if you get a million people together in the EU, EU member states, and they ask the commission to submit some legislative proposal, a legislative proposal, uh, in an area of competence. So, like, all right, well, you know, these video games that have online servers are going away. We'd like to keep that shit around. That's what we're get, trying to get behind here, people. Now, of course, you might have guessed this shit came up, showed up in Lisbon. It's Pedro's fault. Um, <laughs> blame Pedro Pedro's. for this, 100%. It was signed in Lisbon, that's why it's called that. <laughs> signed Pedro by Pedro Mateus himself. in Lisbon. Right. <laughs> Written on, it was charted on an old t-shirt of Pedro's on top of it. No, no, no. They, they, they handed him my ass. They, they, they tricked him. They handed him a laptop with the bill on it, and he mm. signed for it because he thought he was signing for the laptop. That's uh, that's. <laughs> Last time he fell for a trail of eraser shape, um, candy <laughs> food shaped erasers. Yeah, however, yeah. this is gonna work out for him. So, yeah, Ross Scott, it's another thing. This is just a nice reminder. There'll be a link in the show notes to everything for the Stop Killing Games initiative. Get a start somewhere. The EU might be a place to try it out. I think that's pretty decent. But I was thinking about this this week, though, because I'm a pragmatic motherfucker. I am. I can champion some shit. Get behind some shit, cheer some shit, but I also sit back and like, how's this going to get fucked up? How could this go wrong? It's always good to sit there and like think this way, because we talk about this thing on the show pretty often. It's something called malicious compliance. You ever, you ever see your cookie fucking thing on a fucking website? 
Yeah. <laughs> the annoyance. Um, yeah. Yep, the annoyatrons. <laughs> That's what that is. They're like, oh, we got to? All right, fucking deal with this. So we get this through. Not us. Just not, not any of us, actually, Pedro. No, <laughs> no, no not at all. <laughs> Very much not in the EU. Still an EU citizen, yeah. which means I get to put my name get there. Get your vote in. Get yeah. your vote in right now. <laughs> this gets through. All right. It gets, we get the proposal. It goes through. They push it through. And they're like, okay, in the EU, fucking video game developers with your lives, you got to release the server if you're going to fucking shut down the game. And they're like, all right, fine. We're going to do that. How do we make that as hard as fucking possible on these motherfuckers? Now, my first thought to bring up, like, Sun, I was like, they're going to release a version uh, for the server that only runs on Solaris 9 on Sun 4M. If you know about Sun Hardware, you're like, oh, and I'm like, oh, yeah, right. They, 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 they got to spend all the money on developers who know how to port the code to the, fucking Sun. They, they got to find that one motherfucker who's still around that can write uh, for Sun 4M. Then they got to find the fucking hardware. Like, that's malicious. Like, what? Or I, I do think something. That would actually bring those ar uh, architectures back to life a little bit because Dude, there's going to be some be hosting like, companies looking to uh, see, I, I, I get where you're going with that but there's probably like 40 <laughs> working on those fucking machines on the planet dude you're not going <laughs> that, that's, that, that's, that's why we got to virtualize them man it, it yeah. doesn't exist oh uh, <laughs> and this is just off the top of my fucking head dude this is not me trying to sabotage anything this is like me thinking like they're going to be fucking thinking a fucking immediately if this shit goes through because like round two i'm like all right we'll just uh, do a build that only works on a 32-bit arm I'm like wait is there a fucking 32-bit arm anything that'll run and they're like it technically runs oh no you won't be able to fucking <laughs> play that, or get in but i mean it runs that's all they said right here per the letter of the fuck that's law. the thing uh the the uh suggestion actually uh, offers several initiatives either the developers themselves um continue to support the game which mm -hmm. No one wants that. Mm -hmm. The developers don't want that. Ross has been very much saying, we don't want developers, we don't expect developers to support their games forever. Uh, what they want is, I think what everyone wants is, either give us the server so that we can run the server ourselves and then people can continue to play the game, or give us uh, a final patch when the game goes out of... Um, support of, effectively give us one final patch that removes that server dependency it just so, continues uh, to work entirely locally which one, oh yeah uh what one one thing about the uh the um the uh proposition though uh that is a little bit tricky is that the way this works is that uh if you look at if you go to the link it's in our show notes there's a there's a column called statements of support and right next to it is one called threshold so four countries within the eu need to break that threshold in addition to the 1 million signatures in order for this to be considered as well. So mm. yep. for those of you who are in uh, the uh, in countries that are either closer to the threshold or maybe have a lower threshold, you may want to strategically try and get people to fill those out so that you're able to fulfill that criteria. Yeah, as well. uh, one of the things that Ross mentions in the video is this particular campaign, since it is very much EU based yeah. and uh, the one country that's left in the EU that speaks English is Ireland. Uh, <laughs> that's a bold uh, yeah. fucking claim. <laughs> that that has English as its primary language. Yeah, that's Ireland. That was also it's a fucking joke, but go ahead. <laughs> but yeah, it is. Uh, so it is very important for those influencers that actually like to be called influencers in those countries needs to kind of put this in front of their audience because they're the ones who can make a difference here uh, it, it looks like northern <laughs> europe is actually pulling quite a bit of weight uh it mm -hmm. looks like sweden and finland are at about at about halfway to their thresholds oh, already, yeah. <laughs> which is which is really really good because like again the sooner those thresholds are hit as long as they can get four of them and in addition to the million signatures then that is one major hurdle that uh, right well like the come. population density you know i was like oh finland i'm like well it's finland like 12 people yeah. that can live there Deutschland. Yeah, and, and, and they're all software engineers that's the yeah, it's like France, Italy, Germany, um, Poland. Poland's We're actually doing pretty well already. On like the Netherlands <laughs> and Germany, because that's like number yeah. two and number three in our podcast downloads. So hi, yes, I know you guys are listening. Yeah. Um, go, go, go sign up for this thing, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, seriously, stop killing games. <laughs> L links to all this stuff in our show notes. So linuxcast.com. There it is. I wish them the best. I hope it survives, uh, or you know, at least it creates creates some noise. Well, and, and, and here's the thing, like, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. All, all, 
all of these shitty laws that get implemented in countries, they keep trying until they get run through. So we just got to do the exact same thing. If this initiative doesn't succeed, pick up the next one. And it's one open and for going. a year. If it's already at 10, over 10% of the required votes, just, yeah, just a bit more. <laughs> it's good for like getting attention right there, you know, because like you start like looking up like what are corruption statistics in the year right now? Uh-huh. It ain't pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and. You know, it, it does boil down to like, what was a uh, Lewis Rosman? He's like, how do, how do I ended up having to get shit done? I had to fucking hire a, um, what do you call them? A lobbyist. Lobbyist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To start yeah, getting shit like done. Like it, but like I said, this is the step though. Get the fucking attention. Lobbying. <laughs> yeah. Well, well and, 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 and corruption. Like, well, well, once this initiative. <laughs> yes. But gets, if we're doing it. Swing, <laughs> yeah. No, then, then we can lobby the same tools <laughs> available to them are available to us. We just right. gotta use them. Ladies we just need someone who's willing to put a million dollars to say, no, this stops here. <laughs> and so far, no one has. Tim Sweeney, you're our only hope. Yeah, do something good. Yeah. No, I just want to see Pedro e- e- Elon, <laughs> Elon, come on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You got money to spend. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this episode of Linux Gamecast Weekly. Uh, if you want to get in touch with us, we'd love to have that chat. We got a contact form. Well, we used to have a contact form. Now it's just email address. But hey, leave us a comment Thanks, on WordPress. YouTube. And leave us a comment on the Patreon post. Wherever you see the video posted, chances are right under it. Or you can just use that email address. Let us know what you thought about this week's show. And we might feature your clapping back, your dynamic response right here at the end of the show. Like we're going to do with Woman 37. W, w man, woman? I don't know. Uh, they say, I still feel like Valve is waiting for NVK to mature much more before releasing SteamOS, because from, from my understanding, GameScope Session is still borked on NVIDIA hardware, even after the 555 driver that added explicit sync. It wouldn't do good to go, hey, we're making this generally available, come check out Linux out, and then a bunch of people try it, and the conversation centers around how fucked everything is on NVIDIA, not how cool it is to have an OS with live TDB clocking settings in an easy-to-understand interface. Yeah, I mean, I mean, um... And we're, we're starting to see right now uh, with NVIDIA releasing the open source drivers for uh, their latest generation of cards. Um, yeah, I, th- I think I think maybe maybe there will be um, less of a, ver- a barrier. People are because like if, when, when once they valve releases Steam OS, people are going to try and put that shit on everything. It's not out already. And people are trying to put that shit on everything and it doesn't fucking work. So, yeah, if, if they're if they're going to come out and try to promote this, it does does seem to make sense that they would want it to be as smooth and friction-free as possible. I had to correct and the bot. The bot was like, no, you can't go, ah, Basil, thank you for the 55-month uh, <laughs> game Gametron, thank you for your 32. Pedro, do you think that this is it? This is like, what are they going to do when the uh, NVK is good enough? They're like, well, we're, we're, what the fuck's going on with Matrox then, huh? huh? <laughs> See, that's we're, the thing. We're, we're, Matrox Intel support. <laughs> Re- Matrox works reasonably well because they're just using AMD chips. So. Uh, they're using Intel now. Oh, it's Intel. Yeah, yeah. get with it, Grandpa. They, they, yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that, that's, that's where the battle is That's even is better now. because Matrox I-96 is a five. confusing company because it used to be Matrox and now it's, then it was AMD. Now they're moved mm-hmm. to Intel. So it's like, yeah, you know, pick and choose. Wouldn't that be fucking it, weird? That's the thing. I, I, do, do, uh, the, do, at I, least you don't need the blob drivers for Matrox. <laughs> no. The Intel drivers have been pretty good on Linux for a while. Uh, we didn't hear much when the ARCs came out, but that's a good thing because people got it. It was like, oh, it's just using the same driver that the built-in uh, iGPUs are using, so whatever. Um, I see your point about NVK, but at the same time, this is Valve we're talking about. <laughs> if they wanted NVK to be done and good and ready, they would have... Uh, Dude, Th- throwing more money at it. We 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 know we know the very core of our thighs. If like we walked in there, like so about MDK, and they're like fucking what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, was just like, oh, did is, 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 does Jensen want to play it's with like nice with us now? Or yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, I, no, I, because... I wonder what 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 is the relationship between Nvidia and Valve? Because we don't really hear a lot about that, do we? Is there one? I don't really. Like, yeah, that, 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 that's 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 never really mean, right? like, no, Okay, you know what? It's probably probably a bad one. <laughs> And I'll tell you why it's a bad one. It's a little thing called VR port. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, listen, listen, you, you can't convince me that they are In a time honored tradition of fucking over people who've made hardware for them. Valve, 
I was like, all right, check this out. Uh, all of our 3D shit, we're going to use this as your port thing. You just plug it in. This is a bonus port. You put in the videos like, all right. Oh, port. You, I, I heard porn. Okay. Port, uh, Jordan, ports. you fucking perv. No, port. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, NVIDIA is very upset about the VR porn. No, man. Uh, no, this was a port on the 20 series cards. I got one of my uh, 2060 fighters edition. It was USB-C hole that worked. This Everyone a really thing. liked to have the USB-C it was port on dope the, uh, as shit. Because like, you could use this like a full speed <laughs> USB 3.1, or you could just plug a monitor, the damn thing, and power the whole yep. thing through it. It was glorious. And of course, Valve, like six weeks later, like, yeah, fuck that thing. We don't want it. NVIDIA is like, Oh, uh, <laughs> so the, then they sort of they went to hang out with like Falcon Northwest and Dell and all the motherfuckers that made steam machines and like X. You know, the, <laughs> you, you know, you bring up yeah. an interesting point. Where are the Type C outs on on video cards? Because like there there are Type C monitors now, right? Like the Type C outs are fully compliant. Type yeah, C yeah, out. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 that's that's what I mean. Like it's it's very strange that like I bought my okay. My, uh, well, what I'm hearing is is you you would like uh, just more display ports and yeah, which is yeah I, I, <laughs> yeah. I I just I just want more more holes in the back of my video card. That's it. That, that's I'm, the I'm thing. I'm gonna take a drill. I'm gonna take <laughs> and just drill, drill some holes in the back. Awesome. Let's do it. <laughs> the Type I, C gives you both the display out and the the other. USB it, it, it type made too much damn sense. Like it's like this universal fucking soldier of a hole, man. And I'm like, let's go. This is. I thought that was like this is dope as shit. You could just use yeah. it for whatever. And like, nah. I was talking with Jill on uh, Wednesday. Go watch a weekly daily Wednesdays. You want to see that uh, with like at, at least give me fucking two HDMI ports. You stingy bitches. I know you got to pay like you know fifteen yeah. cents. <laughs> Unfortunately, HDMI is. Uh paid for i yeah. well, also I, you know i say that also wishing a um hdmi a quick and abrupt death because mm -hmm. yes. displayport is so much better in every possible conceivable fucking way I, I i would just like some hdmi 2.1 a whatever on on linux because uh -huh. like amd was all just like yo we have this this works oh i got and the hdmi mm -hmm. hdmi forums like yeah fuck you I mean, yeah no you can't uh you, you can't release those open drivers with that Mm -hmm. Oh no! I was like, it was working fine over here on this box. <laughs> yeah, on, on 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 your on your AMD on your proprietary drivers. Who the fuck yeah. said anything about AMD or <laughs> open source? I, I, I didn't. I just, that's what I was talking about, homie. <laughs> I was just talking about it's working over here. That's all I was fucking saying. God damn, calm down. No, yeah, I'm no gonna it, get it would be tricks. nice again. Also, NVK because the new Nuvo with NVK is working very, very well, and it they would be very nice to have that up running. That, 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 that is using GSP firmware though, so I think Nvidia might have a way around that if it's just like you know, it's in the black if box. If they can do it themselves, <laughs> yes, I, yeah. I guarantee you. Like yeah. whatever the smarter, more intelligent solution is, like it, Nvidia probably can pull it off, dude. They're not dumb. It's, right. They're, they're, they're not fully open shit. source drivers. They're just open source kernel. All right, models. I posted yeah. that in our super secret Discord that you can get access to if you want to become a patron. <sighs> Patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. Get a gang of bullshit as a big, wet, sloppy, dynamic thank you each and every week. Uh, we do appreciate it. Access to the pre pre super shows and come join us live. Watch us there. Come chat with us. We just talk shit in our Discord all fucking week. It's kind of brilliant. It's just a continuation of the show. You get a downloadable version if you don't want to watch this shit on YouTube, man. It's right there. You can just download it in P4 format. I make it for you just special each and every week along with the live and uncut version make, of the show and the fucking pre pre super shows and all that plus access to our show notes. It just keeps on coming all over your face, chest and neck. And each and every one of you who do make this show possible, supporting us, stick around for your name in the credits because you know I put them in there. Now, back to bashing on NVIDIA. <laughs> Those assholes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, as the resident NVIDIA shill here. It's confused the fuck out of people. Like, they're, they're getting rid of the 3060. They are. Yeah, I they, saw you they post that. Told the fucking like AIB partners, you know, you MSIs and people making the cards are like, this is your last order for the fucking 3060 silicon. And it's gone. We're not going to fab anymore which really sucks. Like that hits me in the fucking feels for, you know, creatives, content creators, all that shit I'm doing over on interfacing Linux, because even what's it been 17 years since 3060, 12 gig launched. That is still the best 
value render card on Linux that you can buy. And listen, I'm talking about people who need to get shit done. We're not talking about open, closed source slap fight bullshit because you're going to be running fucking DaVinci Resolve and you need that. Um, you so, need the CUDA. <laughs> yeah, you do. That, this is just how it is. And like that's going away. That's really fucking depressing because I got a 3060 right now. And what, what are my fucking options? Like an A4000? That's a $900 fucking video card. I ain't got nine fucking hundred dollars, man. And people that. 4060, which is the exact same performance. The exact same bullshit. Is it 12 gig? With a different number. <laughs> is, is the 4060 12 gig? I don't think there's a 12 gig. There's an 8 gig. No, I, it doesn't work. I had a, you know, eight, uh, there was a reason <laughs> the 3060 was special, remember? Because it was special. Like, what the fuck are you putting 12 gig? Because it had more memory RAM than the fucking 3080. Yeah. <laughs> that was 11 gig. <laughs> exactly. And that's why it made sense, because I can do fucking 4K editing and all that. 4060, I can't do it doesn't work that's for fucking regression i need a 12 gig card why because you've uh, seen yes then 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 you want you got to spend the extra money on the 4060 ti i had to look up what the fucking memory spread on these cards were because i haven't looked at them in a while yep uh yeah no you 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 got for the 4060 you have eight gigs and for the ti you have eight or 16 get fucked yeah 16 uh, gigs for 500 bucks <laughs> so yes nvidia not dumb <laughs> they know what they're doing <laughs> but fuck them for it and all my fellow creators out there, uh, get wrecked. Now, is that going to do it? Are we good? Did we cover everything? I think we uh, did it. think so. Ah, there we go. North Ranger. Yep. 500 for the 16 gig. It's a 4060 Ti, but yeah. That's... Do you know how mad <laughs> I'd be? <laughs> I paid $500 for the 980. I paid $500 for the 982, and I got it on re fucking release week. And I cried myself to sleep in a fucking corner rocking yeah. for a month. <laughs> uh, how far we've fallen ah uh, 2020 <laughs> what happened <laughs> <sighs> on that beautiful bombshell ladies and gentlemen let's cue the music you can always find us pulling out of the nightmare station right here on twitch at 8 p.m hop in half an hour early if you're one of our beautiful patrons death note or above hell if you're an executive producer you get a video version. We make it because we're good like that. Get in touch with me. I'm on X at Vinstone, Mastodon, Mastodonlink, Schemecast.com, at Vinstone. No, just at Vin there. And I'm on Blue Sky. I'm probably still the only Vin hanging out in that nonsense. I'm Jordan. I'm just the regular Jordan, not the TI. You only get like 256. <laughs> me yeah, no, only only 256 megabytes of memory. If you want, if you want the one gig model, you got to get the Jordan TI, the T Jordan. Uh, follow me on Mastodon at Frojo at mast.linkscamecast.com, Blue Sky at Frojo at bsky.app, and at the Burning Fool on Twitter. And I am most definitely never going to get my own XTX version, so you can always find me at an account for. You are for... the XTX version. <laughs> Have you seen that photo? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the XXX version. <laughs> no, that's porn. <laughs> anyway, Mastodon is unaccounted for with the actual number four at mass.linuxgamecast.com. <laughs> yes, white. <laughs> yeah, it's white buddy Pedro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I couldn't fit it all in one emoji. He needs this. He needs a kickstand. It's too heavy for a PCI port. <laughs> Time for some credits. <laughs> That's that's my deadlift, maximum effort. <laughs> well, it's it's time. We did it. We made it through a week of talking about games. We gotta thank our advisors, Omegas and our Theron, together at last. <laughs> our executive producers, Barb Rapp, Scott, Atomic, Mike, Tomaj, Ian, David, Ishep, Kurducky, one two three four, Haplo, and Drummer, and our little Nikki fan, Super Death Stoat, Empty, Glorious Eggy, and Turbo underscore Tree Sloth. And the same monsters with no Rider X, Machina, Trudgy, Veritanuda, Justin, Darkwing, Zissim, D, Dunsing, Joe, the Krasny, Ogie One, and Frostclaw. Thank you for the sake there, Joe. Uh, Death Notes, Nova, Chad, Romeo, Kim, Chris, Renee, Leonardo, Steven, Joel, Benjamin, Doom 2, The Wad, Stephen B, Beck, Dodger, hey, Zero, special Zeno, shout out to all of you fiscally <laughs> irresponsible over, monsters, Piper, you fine young cannibals who bought stuff for the <laughs> studio here at LGC, Carl, Mike, Arthur, and Linux New all the listen. Noculus, John, Eshep, Gametron, you know it, DSN, Joe, Aromatic, Devin, Kai, Jorai. Also, go head over to the support page. These guys have Amazon wish list. Buy them some shit, send them a note, and uh, we'll mock them mercilessly. Mercifully? No. Mi mi mer 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 mercilessly. These ever. It's been a while since we've, like, really... <laughs> Messer Schmidtly. Yes. 
Messer Schmidtly. <laughs> that sounds delicious. Does that does that come in vanilla? <laughs> it does now. Mm. Well, don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. Tree blanket is in fact not real, and it can't hurt you. It will hurt tree you. blanket. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Die for everyone. See you next week. Tree blanket. It fucked with me for a minute because I wasn't paying attention. I looked. I'm like, do you have a fucking tree on your couch? Five dudes.